Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rach. I'm Rach, thank you very much for joining me and welcome to a new practice for our full moon that's happening depending on where you are uh, tomorrow, so Friday the 23rd or on Sunday, not Sunday, Saturday morning. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a big deal, that's gap. Uh, so it's Friday evening or Saturday morning for me here in the UK at about 3.30 a.m. in um, the morning on Saturday and um, we're in a Aquarius, we're very early into the sign of Aquarius, which means we're actually going to have two full moons this year in the sign of Aquarius. We've got the one for July and we have another one next month. Aquarius, when we look at the body, we want to bring our awareness and focus into the legs, especially uh, Aquarius falls over the ankles, so it's that movement. Aquarius tends to get misunderstood um, as being a water sign, it's the water bearer. We've got aqua in the, in the name, it's actually our last air sign, so it's about movement, ruled by the planet Uranus, which is all about electricity, transformation, rebelling, um, going against um, the norms, kind of that crazy scientist, the well, that's always future thinking, so they're ahead of the game. Everyone reads them as being a bit crazy, but it's because they're aware of where we're moving to. So life might feel a bit crazy at the moment. So we're going to just go into a very slow-ish practice, especially as I'm filming this in the UK, we're having a bit of a heat wave. So you might not want to be overheated. And we've just moved into Leo season as well. So we could be feeling a bit uh, warm, we could be feeling a bit bold, a bit bolsterous. Uh, so let's get into a bit of a grounding uh, practice. Uh, you may want to use a belt, a yoga belt, particularly for this practice as well. So if you have one of those, do make sure that it's nearby. But otherwise, let's move straight into stretching the legs straight out. Let's bring some awareness to the ankles. So let's just point and flex the feet. Don't worry if the ankles are clicking or popping. We can draw some circles in the different directions. You could even draw a few circles with all the feet going in opposite directions. This is just a good practice to do to help with your circulation. If you sit for long periods of time, so we want to get that circulation moving. Okay, let's go straight into downward facing dog. So moving from or moving from seated into tabletop, very briefly, tucking under the toes, and lifting the knees into our downward facing dog. So we can keep the heels lifted, really bending the knees. We keep that movement in the legs and you have a little walk on the spot. But pushing one heel down into the mat as you bend the other knee in towards the belly. Mixing on the breath. And if you are feeling a bit overheated, if you're very much in summer season, keep the movement really slow. There's no need to move too quickly. You might be having a little pause, it's perfectly fine. So from our downward facing dog, we're going to bring our left foot through. So you can step the left foot through, you might work with your down dog splits. So we've got the left toes pointing to the top of our mat. We're going to turn our right foot so the toes point to the long side of the mat. We're going to lift the body up so we can turn to face along the mat without turning the legs. So the left foot is still pointing to the top of the mat and the right toes are still pointing to the long side of the mat. Now I don't want you to lock your leg, but you can keep a slight bend in your knee. We're going to go into Trikonasana pose. So we're going to open the arms nice and wide. Instead of going into warrior two, gently stretching 
over your left leg. So we get this stretch through the right side waist. And from here, we bring the left hand down and we can reach the right arm up. You can look down. Now do notice if you automatically bring your hands down to the mat or the foot, all you do is because you're pushing the tailbone back and your torso, the chin and the chest forward. If that's the case, come back up, keep that alignment and stretch over and then just release the hands down. So you can be on the inside of the knee, that's perfectly fine. So you're pushing, rooting down into the feet whilst opening the side waist. And we're going to lift up. Now we're going to move from here. We're going to turn our left toes in, to turn the right toes out. So the right leg will be staying relatively straight. So we don't want to twist or turn the torso. We're looking at that long side of the mat. Open the arms up nice and wide. We stretch over the right leg this time. Starting to get that movement out of the left hip as you bring the right hand down. So the back of the hand could be onto the knee. You might find the shin or the ankle. And we lift that left arm straight up. And you can look up, you can look down, you can look at the camera. Gently pushing into the feet to get the stretch through the side body and lifting all the way back up. Lower the arms down, we're going to walk the feet in to give the legs a nice little shake. So feet are hip width apart. We're going to bend the knees, sit down into chair pose. We're not going to stay here for very long. We're going to find the legs for Garandasana, eagle pose. We always tend to find the, the arms, but we're going to focus on the legs. So we want to push that energy down through into the legs, into the ankles and the feet. So we're going to lift one foot off the floor and cross the legs. So you've got back of the thigh connected into front of the thigh. So we're going to show you this one from the side. So we're sitting in our chair and we're lifting that foot up and crossing the legs. Just like you do if you were sitting on a chair. Lift your foot back up, place the foot down, and then changing the cross of the legs. Now if you need a bit of support, you might be using a wall, might be using a chair, Anyways, let's do it one more time each side. So keep the knees bent as you lift one foot up and over. Focus on the breath. And releasing, as your knees crossing, one leg over the other. And releasing. From here, we're going to keep the feet about here with apart, but turn the toes out. We're going to go into our Malasana pose, our low yogi squat. So as you bend the knees, sit the hips, the tailbone down. So shifting the weight around into the ankles. Don't worry if the heels are lifted, that's perfectly fine. And you can always use a prop even here if you feel that you need a little bit of extra support. Then we can use a block. Focusing on the breath. So you might find that this pose is really comfortable. You can stay here for a little bit longer. If you're at the point where you wish to release the pose, you can bring the hands onto the mat, push into the feet as you lift the hips to tailbone. Go into a forward fold. You might find you wish to turn the toes in so they face to the hands. And when you're ready, you can bend the knees, to turn the toes out. Find our lovely Malasana Yogi spot. You might be holding this pose. You might be moving just in and out as you need to. A few more rounds of breath here. We're going to come back down to sitting. So we can bring the hands down to bring the towel now, stretching the legs out in front of us, giving the legs a little wiggle, giving the point flex. The feet in some circles, releasing the ankles, and I'm just trying to find my belt. 
So we're going to use the belt. If you have got a belt perfect, you can use something where you can just completely unravel it. So you can drape the belt down into two parts. We're going to do this so we can just gently stretch the back of our legs. So you can bend the knees, sliding the towel forward, pull down onto your back, pull it tuck of the chin into the chest. Does not matter which side you start with first, but you've unraveled the belt. Or unless said as mine, it's kind of knotted itself back up together. But we're going to bring one knee into the bay, lifting the foot, and we're going to take the belt around the arch of the foot as we push the belt up towards the ceiling, the belt drapes down either side of the foot. Keep your foot flexed, the toes are pointing to say the wall that's behind you. We can hold on to the belt and gently nudge that leg a little bit closer to us. So you want to be feeling this stretch very gently, very comfortably in the back of your leg. The leg is staying straight. When you found that placement where that feels quite comfortable to, to hold the leg, we can then slide the hands down so the elbows might find the mat. Focusing on the breath. When you're ready to release, bending the knee, releasing the belt, just change sides, bringing the other knee into the belly, taking the belt around the arch of the foot, extending the leg away, foot flex, toes point to the wall behind you. You're just starting to feel this stretch into the back of your leg. Keep your leg straight. You might be able to nudge the leg a little bit closer. Make sure you're not lifting the hips and tailbone off the floor. When you found that comfortable placement for the leg, you can slide the hands down, you can even wrap the belt around the hands, but try to let the arms relax, it's all about that stretch in the back of your lifted leg, so we don't want to be creating any tension in the neck or the shoulders. And you might notice one side feels a bit more comfortable than the other, that's fine. Just like we're, say, right or left-handed, we can be right or left-legged as well. And bending the knee, releasing the belt, placing about two on the side. Now when we were standing, we had a little check-in with our standing uh, version of Garudasana, eagle pose, focusing on the legs. We're going to have a go just on our back. So we're going to lift the feet off the floor, so the knees are hovering over the hips. Let's cross our right leg over our left leg. Just checking in with the difference in how this pose might feel now that you're on the back rather than standing. Releasing, changing size, cross the left leg over the right. You can let the arms relax. And then releasing, one more each side. Right leg crosses over the left. Gently releasing, left leg crosses over the right. And gently releasing, bringing the feet down, we can drop the knees together. Like tuck of the chin into the chest. Just focusing on the breath.
And you're welcome to stay in Savasana for a little bit longer. You might be finding your way up to sitting. I might just be completing your practice for today. If you haven't already, please do show your support by clicking the subscribe button. I'll pop it here. I'll pop it here, actually. And then I'll pop a couple of links here and here if you do want to go into a little bit more practice. Enjoy the full moon. I've said this is the first of two that we have this year in Aquarius. If you have got any questions, let me know. Well, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks for our new moon practice. Namaste. Good morning.